Hey everyone, this is SamFam and welcome back to the Raptors Uprising Gaming Club. Today we're going to talk about the best builds on God of War, Ragnarok. So in this video, I'll be showing you guys my OP stun regeneration build. When you get all the correct armor pieces plus skill plus timing of Atreus with this build, you can see the results are devastating where I can finish off enemies quickly through stunning and I constantly get health back. I'm going to give you a detailed breakdown of the skills, how to trigger it and how to time the Atreus arrows perfectly. I guarantee by the end you'll be dominating. So if you enjoy our content, please consider subscribing to the channel for over 100 God of War tutorials all year long. So before we get into the skill combination, let's focus on the armor. And for the chest armor, you want the finest plaque art as you see here because you want to stun grab an enemy with R3 and gain a health first. And then for your gauntlets, you want to get the Ryzen Snow Gauntlets which gives you 40% increased stun when you hit an enemy that's airborne. And for your waist armor, you're going to use the Risen Snow again so you double down on the 40% airborne stunning effect. And here are the skills and combos you need to maximize it. So first things first, make sure you tell Atreus to shoot all of his arrows at a single target. And then you want to be on your axe the whole time and do Frost Awaken at the start of the battle or as much as you can. Once you have Frost Awaken, rush into your enemy and tap R1 so you can do the Frozen Breach. And make sure you're giving it the stun increase when you go tier the skill. So once that Frozen Breach connects, the stun increases and then you want to tap R2 to get or keep the enemy in the air. And this is when you want to go into your rolling storm with the stun buff because as you attack airborne enemies you're going to get even more stun because of your armor set so that's plenty of stun with the rolling storm you want to do it twice and then once that's over you want to click down on the d-pad and switch to melee mode so put your axe away now you're at melee the stun meter is almost filled so you want to go r1 r1 r2 r2 to stun your enemy as quickly as you can and let's take a look at that combo sequence in real time so you can just see how quickly I can fully stun an enemy and then grab them with R3, finish them off and gain health. So we go in there, keep them in the air, juggle them, get that 40% bonus twice, go into our melee, they're stunned and then we're just going to tap R3, finish them off and get our health burst also. So when you are doing this, you want to make sure Atreus fire all of his shots at a singular target. So do free square tap as quickly as you can. And if you're running in there without Frost Awaken, it's okay. You can switch to your melee, sprint in, and then tap R2 to do the sprint melee hit, which does a lot of stun damage if you happen to hit them against a the wall. You can see me do that here again. So when I see the enemy close to a wall, I don't go Frost Awaken, I just run into them with melee and tap R2. And if the enemy happens to have high stun, but they're very low on health, then you want to tell Atreus to shoot his arrows. So you don't end up finishing off the enemy with your axe, but you get Atreus to stun them, and then you click R3 to finish them off. You can also rush in with the Frozen Ascent, which doesn't have the stun bonus, but with this one, what's good is if you hit it with the Frost Awaken, Frost Ascent, they go in the air immediately. So you can go into your Warning Storm and then switch back to your melee and once again get them to a wall and then just smash them right in, sprint at them with melee and tap R2. You can also sprint at them and tap R2 to do the Leviathan's Fury. And this one does come with the stun bonus and this also great at hitting enemies into the wall. And then from there, you know the drill. Get your health burst, finish them off. So when you're playing, a lot of these combos work, but make sure you do what you can to get them airborne and then get in your hits or your melee hits. Go with your warding storms and then always switch to melee with down on d-pad and you will see these stuns super fast. So without showing you guys any spoilers, you want to grab the Rise and Snow armor set by finishing the main quest Surviving Fimble Winter. And for your chest armor, you want to do a favor in uh, the first realm you travel to in service of Asgard. Do that favor and you'll be able to get the rest of the armor set. Alright, so hopefully you enjoyed this. Make sure to subscribe for more God of War build tutorials. And as always, we'll talk to you guys again very soon.